So for step four, we are going to be drawing and cutting our face shapes out of this foam. Okay, I will tell you this foam is kind of thick and it is a little bit of a challenge to cut, okay? But try your best, see how you do. I'll give you a few little cutting tips here in a little bit when we get to it. Um, but do your best. If you're finding it too difficult and it's just frustrating, in your kit you'll also find some craft foam. It's a little bit thinner and it's way easier to cut than this stuff. You're welcome to use that too. That's fine. I kind of like the challenge of trying to use this foam because it's a way of recycling, um, but the craft foam is there for you if you'd like to use that as well. So for this step, what we need to do is get our face shapes drawn onto the foam first. So you can do that by just drawing them straight on there. Like I've done this circle, um, let me draw an eye, okay. Um, you can certainly do it that way. If you would like, you could make yourself a little pattern by tracing the shapes on your face that you've already drawn. Um, so just take a piece of scrap paper, this is just left over from when I cut out my face, and lay it on top of your design. You can kind of see it peeking through there. And then just take a marker or a pen and trace those lines okay then you can cut that out have yourself here's one have yourself a little shape that can be a pattern to trace onto your foam okay so try that if you want that's why i gave you two pieces um, two foam trays so you can experiment a little bit um, try some different shapes um, but do your best your goal is to create all of these shapes that you drew out of foam, okay? Once you have your shapes all drawn, now here I don't have all of mine, but I'm gonna go ahead and skip ahead and show you some cutting things. Once you have all of your shapes drawn, it'll be time to cut. Now, like I said, cutting this stuff is kind of hard. Um, so first off, you wanna get through this curved up edge here. So just go ahead and start cutting in. I think it's a good idea to try to cut these shapes apart. Cut them off of this big tray, okay? Notice how I'm not cutting right next to the shape yet. Here's my shape. Let me make it a little darker. One of my circles. That might be an eye or a cheek, I'm not sure. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just cut, cut it out like that, okay? You'll do that for all of your shapes. Just get them, just cut them off. Cut them off of this big tray, okay? I like to call it chunk it, okay? Cut off a big chunk, and these can just be mostly straight lines, okay? Like I said, this stuff is kind of difficult to work with, but I like the challenge because it helps you recycle something that we would normally just throw in the trash. Okay, so cut out all of your shapes like that. So they're kind of, each shape will be sort of on its own rectangle. Let me finish this one. I'm gonna cut this curvy edge off of here. Okay, notice I didn't cut very close to my shape yet, okay? We're just chunking it first. Okay, then once you have all your shapes all cut out like this, on top of rectangles, where they're still on rectangles or squares, now you can go in and start to cut closer to the line, okay? Now, with cutting, it's always a good idea. This hand here, the hand that has your scissors, is the one that operates the open and closing of the scissors, okay? This hand, the other hand, that has the stuff you're cutting, its job is to move the material okay so both hands have a job and they have to work together and that's why cutting is pretty hard um, it's really good to practice no matter how old you are it's always good to practice so like I said cutting this foam is a challenge but it's good cutting practice um, if you try it and your shapes aren't coming out like you want good try it's fine just use some of the craft foam instead that'll work just as well no problem um, when you cut, again, scissor hand does the open and closing, 
this hand should be turning the thing. So check it out. See how my hand, this hand here that's holding the foam is turning the foam. My scissors only open and close. They don't really move. They're not doing this, okay? That's what makes it really, really hard to cut. So the scissors kind of just stay right here. They only open and close and the foam is gonna turn. That'll help you get it nice curves. Ooh, sometimes it does that too and that's okay. That's why I gave you two foam trays. While you're cutting, you might accidentally break one of your shapes. It's okay, no biggie. You have more foam, just draw another one and try again, okay? So there you go. You'll start to get some of your shapes that will go onto your face. Let's see how it, how it looks. Oh yeah, see it matches up pretty good. Cool, I'm gonna need to cut a lot more shapes. Okay, so go ahead and give this cutting a try. If you're a little kid, this foam is probably gonna be a big, big challenge, okay? Just because you have to have pretty strong muscles in your hands to cut through this stuff. Um, so little kids probably will use some craft foam. Um, it's kind of fun to just try cutting it. Maybe if someone is helping a younger kid, they could cut them some rectangles or squares to try cutting through. It's kind of fun to cut. Um, but yeah, do your best. And like I said, if, if it turns out to be too hard, too difficult right now, that's okay. Good try. Um, just go ahead and use the craft foam instead. That'll work just as well. Okay, once you get your shapes all cut out, so I still have quite a few to do here, um, you will be ready to move on to step five.